everyone, welcome back to Virtual DJ Tips. Today we're going to have a little more in-depth look at the video sampler. Now video sampling is pretty much the same as audio sampling, except you have a few more functions. What I've done here is that I have a video loaded into my deck, open up the video screen, and I've just got a the audio off and the video looping, so we can just continue to play the video without having to worry about YouTube pulling down the video for audio violations on copyright. Now we've got a couple samples in the video and scratch panel that come by default. So if we just hit one, you get that scratch sound and a little scratch video display shows up there. We've also got three, two, one. So a little bit of a countdown. Now the cool thing about this is that if you hit this pad, you use a command click or control click, you can go into the sample editor. And you can see if we go down to the bottom that under track, audio is turned off and it's just a video sample. This is one really cool thing about the video sampler is that you can use videos with audio and remove the audio. So we'll just turn the audio back on by clicking on it. Go to our little save icon and make sure we save it. Now, if I open up my video window again and I go back to my sample, the 321, we should see the same 321 display on the video screen with some audio. Three, two, one. So that's pretty cool there. Now, what I've done is I've loaded up another sample that DJ Cider was nice enough to make for me. Here, I'll just give you the raw sample. But first, let me take a selfie. So there's the raw sample, the selfie sample. Now, you notice that it disrupts our video. But first, let me take a selfie. Because the background is very black. So what we can do is we'll just minimize this video window for a minute. We'll hit command click or control click. Go back into our sample editor. And you'll see this section up here where it says transparency. If you click on the color, it actually creates this little icon where you can actually select a color that's in the sample. So there's pink here we can remove or black. So we're going to go with the black. And then we have this transparency dial where we can turn it up. I find usually about halfway if it's at the 12 o'clock position is pretty good for transparency. So that will remove the entire black background. We just click our save button again, open up our video window so that you can see it. And if I trigger the sample here now, but first, let me take a selfie. But first, let me take a selfie. I just get all that text and not the black background. Now the same thing if you go in and we'll minimize the window again, sorry. If we command click, control click, go back into our sample editor and we just choose to remove the audio, click save, open up our video window again. If I click on this sample, I have no audio and just a text. So you can do this with any bank. Uh, this could come in handy for things such as uh, maybe Halloween or holiday parties where you can have just a Halloween bank. You can have all your samples in that bank and switch into the bank. It's actually a more powerful tool than the clip bank feature because you have more control over your samples. Now if we close out of this window for now, and we're just going to pause this deck. If we go back into our sample editor, you'll see that there's a section called grouping. Now you could create a group here, any group, and we'll just call these drops. And soon as you create a group, it gives you a trigger option. So you can make it an on off mode, uh, holding mode. So only when the trigger pad is pressed, a stutter mode or an unmute mode. So anything that's in that group of drops should probably be in on off or a hold mode. So we'll just make it on off save our sample and then with the three two one we'll do the same thing and we'll name the group 
triggers. And I'll make this just a hold mode. And save it. Now, if I open up my video window and I go to my 3, 2, 1. Three, two. And I take my finger off the pad. It's only when I'm holding. So, three. take my finger off. Three. Or I can play the whole thing just by holding the pad three, down. Two, one. If I go back to my selfie sample, I only have to touch it once because it's in an on-off mode. So there's a couple more tips and tricks on how to use video sampling. Gave you a kind of an insight on the sample editor as well. So if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so so you get the most up-to-date content and you'll be the first ones to know. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.